track and there were lots of tracks and many many people had been done already that morning um, and Paul went down slightly lower than us and you know, unfortunately the, the snow below him gave way and um, caused an avalanche. When I saw him there and uh, it, you, know, you could, I, I knew straight away that it was a lot, a lot more serious than we all, we all thought. So um, it was a bit of a heart wrencher, really. I sort of remember it all. Um, I'd sort of been taught to do a snowboard in snowboard school if caught an avalanche. So I sort of went through all, all that procedure. Um, but luckily, sort of by falling off the cliff. The snow fell quick and I did which probably saved my life along with wearing my helmet um, but then it caused my back to pretty much dislocate, snap in half and then that caused my spinal cord to get damaged and made me paralysed from knees down. Well when he was in the hospital, uh, when we actually were flew him back to like, Stoke Mandeville, every night one of us would take it in turns to drive down and see him, which is pretty epic since it's about a two hour drive or something. But, we always wanted him to have some. In the end of it, he got pretty sick of us. To be honest. Paul um, basically sustained what we call an L1 fracture of his spine, um, which is really the top of his lower back, so just below his ribs and the top of his lower back. And he fractured his spine, which caused um, what we call an incomplete. So some of his nerves were affected and have caused paralysis, and some of the nerves haven't and are intact. I try to explain it to my mum because it's quite it's hardest for a mother because the mother is used to picking you up, wrapping you up, bandaging you up and sending you off and, and she couldn't do anything. She literally couldn't do anything and, and you feel so useless because all you want to do is help. And I just said to her, look, just you being here is enough. You know, it, it's you know there were people in my ward who didn't have one get well card or anything and sort of I had all these people and it takes your mind off it. But also, as, as I said, I used it as a, as a way to show back my appreciation for what they're doing. His family are absolutely incredible supports to him and, um, and, and very driven people in their own right. And his friends are uh, you know, an incredible you know, community of people who just adore him and support him. But it's him, it's his belief in himself that's pulled him through and he'll never give, it, give himself credit for that. I always said to myself that if I got better and when I got better, I would do something big. And I wanted to, there were lots of things thrown around, but I wanted to use my legs. That was the main thing. I had to use my legs. I wanted to use what I got back to help those who didn't get it back. a bit stubborn sometimes, he knows what he wants. He seems to throw himself into these different challenges, um, whether it's swimming, trying to get into the Olympics, or playing tennis now, and now doing these challenges. I think these things are, are really important to help keep him motivated and to keep him functionally going, so. I say I, I never had any anger or anything like that, really, because I was doing what I love to do, you know, and I play sport in my life, and, because of that, you know, it's the way I am and I wouldn't change it. So you can't really wrap yourself up in a cotton wool ball. I wanted something that gets every living room sort of thinking, well, what, what, you know, what could I do today? Or I didn't know that about spinal injuries. It sort of, I wanted it to become a household topic. Even if we don't raise, those people don't donate money, if we're educating them down the line, they may, they may go, oh, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do a half a 5k walk, oh, actually I'll do it for spinal research and it will come around that way. So that's what the, the main goal was, is to try and get 
you know, every household in England talking about it and if anything just making them sort of think about you know, what they can do to help. It's going to be gruelling, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm absolutely convinced it's going to be very difficult for him, particularly the climb at the end is going to be really, I think, a physical challenge as well as an emotional challenge with going back to where he had the accident. I, I suppose until we're there, you know, I, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I think he'll be using a hand winch and he'll be pulling his body weight up, so. I guess it's that I'm trying to beat what broke me. That's the thing, it's sort of, um, it's a bit like, I don't get teary very often and I carry the Olympic torch, it's a great honour and a friend nominated me for it and I, I'm eternally indebted for him for doing so. And um, I walked with one stick and I, and I carried it with a torch in the other because I didn't want to do it in my chair um, because I'd come this far and that was the aim. And um, I hadn't, I'm one of these people, I don't really think about stuff, I just get on and do it. And afterwards, like, well, while I'm doing it, I don't realise the, the scale of what I've got myself into, and it's sort of. And um, I suddenly got back on the bus, and I almost just broke down because I just it all suddenly came back to me. So you know that I wasn't supposed to walk, and that I was sort of just un, under four years later, you know, walking with one stick, carrying something. You know, okay, it's not a massive you know, distance, but mentally and, and symbolically, it was a huge distance for me, and. Um, and I think that that's what will come back. It's sort of it's 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 all the people that have helped me along the way, and it's all the the negative stuff I got told. And, and suddenly I think when I'm on the top of that cliff, it would be like it's it's not a prove you wrong thing. It's just like I've done it. You know, you, 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 all the hard work has paid off, and and you and you've got through it. And I hopefully I've I've helped the people along the way, and and it, and it's made a difference to everyone's lives as well as myself.